Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone. In the realm of Ebb, the wizard Galleon visits Muriela to spend some time together. Nuriella loves kissing Galleon because she believes there's love between them, but Galleon is actually absorbing the magic running in her lineage of mages. As they continue kissing, nature outside is ruined by the dark forces of Galleon's ritual. Nuriella's father, Merrick, is in the area and feels this energy, so he investigates and discovers that Galleon is using magic to control an army of beasts known as Krugs. Meanwhile, an orphan known as Camden works hard on the land. He lives happily with his son Zef and his wife Solana, to whom Camden has yet to say I love you. They are often visited by Camden's best friend, Norik, who informs Camden that the king's army is recruiting men and pays well. Camden refuses the offer because he prefers a monotonous life if it means staying with his family. In the royal castle, King Conrad receives news of Krug's killing people everywhere, including a royal guard. Conrad's nephew, Fallow, finds the idea of such peaceful beasts attacking ridiculous, but Conrad believes dark magic is involved. The next day, Solana and Zeph go to visit Solana's parents and her brother Bastion in the village while Camden stays home to work. Suddenly, he senses a strange presence in the area, and a quick investigation reveals that a pack of Krugs is invading. Camden reveals having secret fighting techniques he uses to quickly defeat all the beasts before rushing to check on Norik, who is also under attack while his barn burns. Together, the two friends fight and defeat all the enemies, but unfortunately, they cannot save the barn. Afterwards, Camden asks Norik for a horse because he fears more Krugs are heading to the village. Back at the royal castle, Nuriella is having fencing lessons with Commander Tarish. He respects Nuriella's swordsmanship but cannot accept her into his army because she is a woman. Their training is interrupted by Fallow, who tells Tarish to prepare his soldiers because the Krugs are ravaging the land. It's clear that Tarish dislikes Fallow for being a waste, but he has no choice but to obey. In the village, Solana is spending time with her father and son in the tower when she suddenly sees the Krugs approaching. She immediately asks her father to take Zeph to a safe place while she rings the bell to sound the alarm. The villagers panic and run as the Krugs start destroying everything in their path. At this moment, Camden and Norik arrive at the village and join the fight, killing as many Krugs as they can. Camden is desperate to find Solana and hears from her family that she is still in the bell tower, so Norik and Bastion help him find her while Zeph stays with the grandparents. Meanwhile, the Krugs reach the tower and kidnap Solana. In his fortress, Galleon is using his magic to control the Krugs. He sends reinforcements in the form of Dark Knights who serve as his avatars and allow him to see what's happening. When Camden approaches the tower, he finds it on fire and assumes Solana is already dead. Galleon sends a Dark Knight after Camden and, to his shock, Camden fights the Dark Knight with no trouble and even manages to kill him. However, Galleon does not give up and gains control of a second knight he sends to Solana's house to kill her parents. When Camden arrives, he immediately starts another fight against more Krugs while the knight finds Zeph hiding in the closet. Zeph quickly runs away, and the knight follows him so Galleon can take pleasure in killing him. While Bastion arrives home and is devastated to find his parents dead, Camden finds Zeph and cries for his loss. After the enemy Galleon makes his army retreat with several prisoners, Camden and Bastion bury Zeph and their grandparents. Norik points out they didn't find Solana's body, so she might still be alive. At the royal castle, Fallow meets with Galleon to remind him of their agreement to take the throne together. Fallow doesn't think Galleon is working fast enough, but Galleon is too concerned with Camden and his ability to take down Dark Knights. A few hours later, King Conrad and his group arrive looking for people who want to join the royal army. Camden rejects them, saying the king has enough soldiers and walls to protect him. Norik and Bastion agree with him and accept joining his search for Solana but are intercepted by Merrick, who thinks Norik and Camden look familiar. Merrick tries to explain to Camden that the king needs him more than they imagine, but Camden dismisses him. After a few hours of travel, Camden, Norik, and Bastion reach a broken bridge above a cliff. They send the horses back and then cross the gap by descending on a rope with their belts. Camden safely reaches the other side, but Norik and Bastion fall into the water. Fortunately, they are not hurt in the process. Meanwhile, the king and his men return to the castle and find only one guard asleep at the entrance. To make matters worse, Fallow is using the throne to flirt with a woman. 
Conrad scolds him for his behavior and then has Teresh take Fallow away. This causes Fallow to slap Teresh for touching him, but Teresh cannot retaliate because Fallow is still royalty. Later, Fallow goes to Galleon to demand an acceleration of the plan. Galleon needs more power for this, so he visits Muriela, who tells him that her father considers Galleon an enemy of the king. Galleon dismisses this comment as Merrick being overly critical, but as Muriela won't drop the subject, Galleon gets angry and yells at her. This scares Muriela and makes her kick him out. The next morning, Fallow apologizes to Conrad and promises to do better, so Conrad allows him to share breakfast. Afterwards, Conrad discusses with Teresh the strange behavior the Krugs are showing and how they should attack. Muriela takes the chance to speak with Conrad to ask what's happening, as no one tells her anything. Conrad is about to explain the Krug problem, but suddenly starts feeling dizzy and faints. Merrick senses that his king is in danger and starts to return to the castle while Fallow goes to see Galleon because he also feels unwell. Galleon reveals he poisoned the king's breakfast and has the antidote, which he gives to Fallow only after making him beg and reminding him who's really in charge. Moments later, Merrick arrives and uses his magic to start working on the poison in the king's system. Teresh informs him that Fallow fled the castle and took two entire armies with him, which may indicate he orchestrated the poisoning, but also with Galleon's help. When Teresh wonders how Galleon got so much power, Merrick becomes suspicious and visits Muriela, who confirms she was getting close to Galleon. Merrick explains to her that she was used and that her poor decisions are bringing chaos to the kingdom, which makes Muriela break down. Outside the royal estate, Fallow tells the soldiers to follow him, and when a man wonders why Teresh isn't with them, Fallow kills him. Then he threatens to kill anyone who doesn't follow him because technically that would be treason. Meanwhile, Camden, Bastion, and Norik get lost in the forest. They feel a strange presence around them and suddenly a bunch of plants grab them by the feet and hang them upside down. This is a trap by the nymphs, who don't want warriors in their forest. Camden uses his weapons to free himself and swears they didn't come to cause harm, so the nymphs let them go on the condition they leave the forest immediately. The three men admit they're lost, so the nymphs agree to guide them to the end of the forest while explaining they don't involve themselves in human problems. The trio exits the forest at night and finds the Krug's transporting carts with prisoners to their lair. Two beasts try to attack them, but they kill them quickly and Norik grabs the helmets, having an idea. He and Bastion dress as Krugs and pretend to bring Camden as a prisoner, giving him the chance to look for Solana. Unfortunately, Bastion and Norik are recognized as humans and captured anyway. Camden finds Solana in one of the cages, but a dark knight knocks him out from behind before he can rescue her. Back at the castle, Conrad wakes up and Merrick informs him about Fallos' actions. Conrad orders Teresh to prepare the army to attack and he will accompany them instead of resting. On a road not far from there, Solana wakes up and discovers that Norik and Bastion are with her. She collapses when they tell her about her parents and Zeph, but Norik promises Camden will come for her. Meanwhile, Camden wakes up and finds himself tied to a tree. A dark knight beside him is used by Galleon to communicate, admitting he's curious about Camden because he can't read him like he does with other normal humans. Galleon wants to know what Camden is, but since Camden has no answers, Galleon pulls the rope to try to kill him. However, Camden quickly moves, kicks the knight to kill him with his own weapon, and then cuts the rope to free himself. Nearby, Merrick senses Galleon's magic and approaches to check, soon finds Camden, then he helps him by giving him some magical medicine. At the castle, Muriela deals with her guilt for giving her magic to Galleon. She considers ending everything, but her best friend comes to stop her, pointing out that would only make things worse. Muriela decides she wants to make up for her mistakes and make her father proud, so she dons armor and leaves the castle to join the fight. Moments later, Fallow has his army join a crew camp, saying they are also part of his army. This does not sit well with the soldiers. Meanwhile, Merrick takes Camden to the king's camp to introduce him to Conrad, because he has big news, Camden is the king's lost son. He is sure of this because Norik used to take care of the queen's horses, and after the massacre at Oxley Pass, Norik found a boy wandering. At that time, there was only one child in Oxley Pass, the prince. Camden refuses to believe this and leaves the tent. While looking for a horse to go back and search for his wife, Merrick approaches him to ask him to join the army again. Camden refuses, so Merrick points out that there is no point in saving Solana if the king doesn't win the war, because then they won't have a place to live. A moment later, Teresh approaches Fallow to try to resolve this without a fight. 
He calls him a traitor and announces that any soldier under his command will also be considered one. Fallow laughs because he considers himself the new king and nothing can be done against him, but at that moment Khan Reed appears to prove he is still alive. The soldiers who followed Fallow immediately switch back to their king's side and prepare for battle, Teresh is shocked to see Camden joining them too. Suddenly, Fallow's Krug army arrives. The king's archers deal with the first wave, then the swordsmen begin a fierce battle. Galleon uses his magic to send some Krugs underground, allowing them to catch the soldiers by surprise from below. The humans are good fighters and manage to hold their defenses, but things get complicated when Galleon sends some Dark Knights and catapults that fire rocks and even flaming Krugs. While the archers find a safe place to take down the Krugs manning the catapults, the king also enters the fray, then the Dark Knights try to go after him. The soldiers can't stop them, no matter how much they attack, but Camden knows he is special and makes his way to the knights and quickly kills them. This distraction is used by Fallow to shoot Khan Reed in the chest. The king does not give up and continues fighting, but Merrick orders the guards to take him away. Fallow immediately flees, and Camden tries to reach him, but another dark knight appears in his way and Camden has to stay to fight him. Holding onto the knight's horse, Camden knocks him off the animal, and then manages to kill him. The king's army wins the battle, but for Galleon, it's all just to buy time. Nearby, Muriela uses her special senses to understand which direction she needs to go and discovers a dark knight following her, so she runs into the forest, with the dreaded evil closely chasing her. Moments later, Fallow and the few men remaining appear in the forest intending to return to the castle because it's empty and ready to be taken. They stop suddenly when they find a dark knight hanging from a tree, and a little further on, Muriela is waiting. Fallow thinks he has found the perfect victim to kidnap, but at that moment the plants start to move, it turns out to be a trap, and the nymphs now capture all the soldiers. Scared, Fallow grabs his sword and tries to kill Muriela, who quickly defends herself. A nymph on a vine jumps to take Muriela away, and Fallow tries to escape but finds himself blocked by the bodies of his own soldiers. The vines capture Fallow, and Muriela says she will take him with her. In Galleon's fortress, the Krugs arrive with all the prisoners and as soon as they open the cages, Bastion and Norik start a fight. Solana manages to escape with another prisoner, but unfortunately, Norik dies in the battle. Bastion joins the girls in the corridor trying to find a way out, but the Krugs find them and recapture them. In the king's camp, Conrad is not well, so Merrick calls Camden to face his father's last wishes. Conrad uses a quote about bravery and hard work that Camden heard before, and this proves he is his son because Conrad only said it to the prince. The king believes Camden's skills in battle prove he will be a worthy leader, but also reveals he knows a lot about other matters like plants and animals because he cares about his kingdom and what's happening in it. Camden is impressed and holds Conrad's hand while accepting his dream of peace before the king dies. Outside the tent, Teresh sees Muriela bringing Fallow with her, soon he welcomes the warrior. Teresh immediately frees Fallow from the vines and challenges him to a duel for the king's honor. Fallow accepts and begins the fight by attacking Teresh from behind, but Teresh quickly recovers and showcases his skills, easily overpowering Fallow. At that moment, a soldier brings the announcement of Conrad's death, and Fallow laughs because this means he is the new king and they can't harm him. He tries to order the soldiers to kill Teresh, but is interrupted by Merrick, who presents Camden to everyone, explaining he is the son of the late king, therefore the legitimate heir. Merrick accuses Fallow of killing the king, thus Teresh determines the end of the traitor and kills him. Then everyone kneels to Camden, revering him as the new king. In his fortress, Galleon finds out Solana is among the prisoners and wants to use her to make Camden come to him. He sinisterly touches her and, using his magic, Galleon discovers Solana is pregnant. Back at the royal camp, the army bids farewell to Khan Reed with a proper funeral before making battle plans. Muriela tries to join the army again and this time Camden accepts her as a soldier. She also knows of others who want to help and leads Camden to the forest, surprising him with the presence of the nymphs. Normally, they don't want to fight, but they've changed their minds because the Krugs are now attacking their forest too. Moments later, Camden leads his army to Galleon's fortress, where the wizard conjures a storm to make the battle difficult for the humans. While a fierce battle starts between the Krugs and the royal guards plus the nymphs, Merrick takes Camden around the mountain to show him a secret entrance to Galleon's lair. However, Merrick decides to go ahead, soon teleporting into the lair to confront Galleon directly, as they used to be friends before Galleon fell into darkness. 
The last remaining wizards in the kingdom start a fight controlling swords with their magic, and Galleon uses all the power he stole from Muriela to stab Merrick, leaving him to die alone. Outside, a nymph helps Camden use a rope to jump over a cliff and gain access to the secret entrance. Muriela feels her father's death and teleports inside the fortress to say goodbye to him. Before dying, Merrick gives his daughter the remainder of his magic. In the caves, Bastion manages to pull the chains from the walls and gathers some of the prisoners to fight against the Krugs while the others seize the chance to escape. Camden infiltrates the fortress until he finds Solana, but Galleon is waiting for him. Solana tries to run, but Galleon hits her with magic to make her stay. Then Galleon grabs a sword to fight Camden, and as soon as he realizes Camden has better skills, he starts using magic to throw tables at him and float away from Camden's strikes. While Tarish and the nymphs struggle against the Dark Knights joining the Krugs in battle, Camden manages to disarm Galleon and wound his head. Galleon responds by trapping Camden in a magical tornado of books and recovers his sword to kill him, only to be interrupted by Muriela, who uses her magic to save Camden and freeze Galleon. Solana sees the opportunity and with Camden's sword, she stabs Galleon for revenge for her son. Now free, Camden advances and delivers the swift and deadly blow, finally killing Galleon for good. The death of the wizard causes all the Dark Knights to disappear and the Krugs to calm down and retreat because they are no longer under his control. The prisoners and the army breathe a sigh of relief realizing they've won. Camden and Solana celebrate their victory with a kiss, and Camden finally tells her he loves her.